new beginning. After months of quarrelling and defeats at the ballot box, again unified, marching toward victory. That's the dream of Germany's socialists. The left is here. The left is fighting. The left is indestructible. But reality remains a nightmare the party can't shake off. The struggle for power has destroyed the friendship between the party's veterans Gregor Gysi and Oscar Lafontaine. They wouldn't even look at each other. At the left party conference, the conflict went its own way. Out in the open and unbridled. When the trenches are so deep that we don't even raise our guns over them, when we don't even fire at our political enemies, so to speak, that's a disaster. The party's falling apart. We've lost in the East and in the West. We've lost when we were in government and in the opposition. But what's worse is that we don't even trust each other anymore. Then it was Gysi's turn. An icon of the party, its reconciler, its best salesman. He became its prophet of doom. I'm sorry, but certain remarks from members in the West remind me of West German arrogance during our country's reunification. That can't be allowed in our party. Why can't we work together? I can't understand it. I'm sorry, but that is a pathological condition. Among our lawmakers in Parliament, there's hate. And you cannot steer hate. For years, I've been trying to bring together the various factions. For years, I've found myself between two locomotives heading toward each other. And I know I can be crushed that way. For years, I've been in a situation of making myself unpopular among the one or the other side, and I've had enough. They spoke openly of splitting splitting from Oscar Lafontaine and his radical leftist wing. Oscar Lafontaine, who created the party, who sought to dominate it, unrivaled. Taking the podium, he had no interest in reconciliation. When one side is for war and the other against it, when one side wants to dismantle welfare and the other opposes that, then we have grounds for separation, but not just because of sensitivities. That is no reason to throw a political project into uncertainty. But Lafontaine was fighting for a different project. It's called revenge. Revenge on Dietmar Bartsch. A man with his power base in eastern Germany who presumed to publicly run against Lafontaine for the party leadership. Lafontaine refused to take up the challenge. But he didn't want to just defeat Bach. He wanted to humiliate him. On the floor, Lafontaine openly rallied his camp. His partner, Zara Wagenknecht, pulled the strings. The plan was not just to have Bartsch lose, but to lose against an unknown. And the plan worked. In his moment of defeat, Bartsch duly congratulated the new man. And Germany's socialists moved one step closer to the abyss. What will voters think? Latest opinion polls show that if the federal election were held next week, this party would struggle just to earn seats in Parliament.